All right, hey guys, it's me again. I'm uh, still alive. Um, been in the hospital a couple of times for uh, urinary tract infections. Um, even coated out once, went real close to kicking the bucket. But uh, it's, it's amazing how fast that my blood goes septic sometimes with this urinary tract infection stuff and just the, uh, the way it is when you've got a Foley catheter and stuff, it just they just kind of happen and you've got to do your best to keep them away and as hard as you try sometimes they just keep coming back but uh, I just I realized something a while back and it's been helping me and I'll throw it out for everybody else is uh, start putting a cranberry in your diet and stuff I take cranberry pills a couple times a day and I'm drinking cranberry juice and that sort of helps put a little acidity in your blood and that helps keep the uh, bad critters away so to speak so and, and it you know, tastes good anyways, and it's good for you. So I think that's actually been helping keeping me in, in keeping me a little bit healthier and uh, keeping me away from the hospital and stuff. So that's a good suggestion for everybody to think about trying that for those of you that uh, suffer from the urinary tract infections because it seems like they were coming a lot faster than they should and a lot more... Uh, aggressive than they could or should be and stuff and they weren't doing me any good for any for uh, any reason so um just uh here and 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 when you get infected and stuff you know whatever wounds and stuff you have going like i have um they get a little worse they don't get better because when you're infected so now i get turned side to side all the time and that helps uh gets the pressure off the wounds and stuff and they heal up a lot more and I'm back to where, uh, back to where my wounds are almost totally healed up now, and stuff. Just a little bit left, and stuff. If I could just get over that hump of getting them totally healed and stuff, they, you know, without having to deal with that with that uh, infection stuff again, because it seems like every time I get close to healing up all the way, an infection pops up, and there I am back at square one a little bit. So, just trying to trying to help keep that at bay and uh, trying to stay healthy and and stuff so that I can still be there for my wife and kid and everything so just keep uh, moving on and and uh, now it's getting cold at least you know with the MS I know everybody has those uh, limits and stuff where the extremes are kind of bad you know too hot or too cold and now it's getting towards the winter and the cold makes you makes me clench and jump a lot more and stuff so that's going to be a little bit of an issue coming up soon so it's just uh, one of those things but uh, still here and still plodding along trying to keep this thing going and stuff as best as I can and hoping that there uh, somebody's getting a little closer to some kind of cure for this but uh, I've been getting my uh, shots of Copaxone three times a week got one this morning and that pretty much has helped stabilize me in my arms and legs and stuff as far as slowing down the the MS progression and stuff so it uh, seems to be a good thing at least for me as a guy and stuff with the progressive MS so it's uh, no, something else for you guys to consider all you guys out there with progressive MS is trying something like Copaxone because it's uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of side effects if you're not prone to it and it actually can stabilize you and help slow things down give you a little bit better control on yourself and uh, and and living your life or whatever so and I'm just you know now that I'm get, gotten rid of all these infections and stuff I'm trying to get back in my chair more so that I can just cruise around in the afternoons and have a little bit of time and freedom to roll around and get out in the sun and stuff like that so um, I don't know that's about all I got to say for now so have fun with everything, guys.